All right, this is our uh, adult female iguana that came in with the uh, two spinal fractures, one at the base of the, uh, the pelvis, and also a lumbar spine fracture as well. Was stuck in a rabbit hole. Is that what I was stuck in? Yeah, stuck in a rabbit hole and uh, bent at about a, a 90 degree angle while it was trying to get out of the rabbit hole. Anyway, um, we took x-rays. I kept thinking the reason she may be in the hole was to lay eggs, but there's no post-ovulatory eggs or any sign of them there. That's just a much healthier stomach since the last time. She also came in with a stomatitis as well. And as you can see, the pink in her mouth is actually the same color pink as on the watermelon, which is actually quite normal. Uh, her eyes are clearer. She's actually gained some weight. Um, now, neurologically speaking, she has improved. She can actually move these legs a tiny bit. Um, whenever she starts to walk, she'll actually pull them forward, like how she's bottom walking. I, uh, I give this speech all the time, not usually with iguanas, but it turns out, oh, lost my pen. Where'd it go? Where's my pointer? There it is. It's okay. Eat, eat the watermelon. That's for you. I cut it just for you. I got in trouble because one of my girls got to go get blood work at the hospital and she can't eat anything. <laughs> and I cut fresh watermelon right in front of her. I'm a bad man. <laughs> All right. Spinal column <laughs> starts up here in the brain and then moves its way back. What most people know is there's actually a series of tissue back here in the nerve cord called the hindbrain. The hindbrain actually communicates the movement of your rear legs, the movement of your front legs, and your brain. So in other words, if I was to take a lightsaber like this pen and cut this creature right in half, I could move this part of the creature this way and this part this way. I could still be hitting the patellar reflexes right about here and be wearing it and this leg would still be moving. I could be pinching these toes and these legs would still be moving against the, uh, against the stimuli. Uh, so in other words, it, you know, the fact that this leg can move doesn't always, well, she's actually quite conscious of it because if you're going to stare, I'm touching it and she's looking back. So she, the feeling part is something that she still has. But uh, enable the, for, for this part of her brain to control this part of her leg, there's a very weak signal that goes from here to here that makes her pull her leg up just a tiny bit when she's moving. And actually, it's the uh, right side better than the left side as far as her neurologic exam goes today. So anyway, the good news is we've seen some improvements since the last time. Now, you know, we are looking at a species or a type of creature whose regenerative abilities is very well documented as looking at the base of the tail, it's, there's part of your evidence just how well these guys can uh, can regenerate. <clears throat> but their nerve, nerve tissue is not easily as regenerated, but still better than our species. So anyway, with this in mind, our, uh, our girl hair has improved. Her fecal was negative for the coccidia that she picked up from her rabbit friends while hanging out in their burrows. Um, so she's been treated for that as well. Her upper respiratory tract disease is fixed, her stomatitis is fixed. She's doing a whole lot better, and the fact that we're actually seeing some improvement in her back end. Wait, she's gonna move for us here. Notice how she's still got this leg forward. That actually takes a little bit more muscle contraction here than it would be on this side. So what we're seeing on this side that it's still pretty weak, but just a second ago, actually earlier, I saw her pulling this leg forward. A little bit like that. I know, girl. It's okay. Oh, oh, oh. She's like, dude, what are you doing up there? Oh. What's up? Show us what you got. Show us how mean you are. Yeah. Oh. Some iguanas love this, some hate it. She's not really trying to bite me, but I don't think she hates it. <laughs> Oh, how about this side? How about this side? It's like scratching the butt of a dog. Oh, 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 oh look at that. It's like, is that, is that laughing? Is that lizard laughing? <laughs> Stop it. You're tickling me. Stop it. <laughs> I know. I'm crazy. It's Friday. Um, oh, yeah. I know. Uh, uh, uh. What's up, girl? Just trying to stimulate you, get you to move some. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I oh, know. <laughs> that good stuff? It's for you. It's all for you.
Nope. Not gonna fall for it. You can take it home with you. It'll be a to-go order. Cause I just don't want that piece anymore. <laughs> All right. Five minutes of Iggy Neurology and Insanity. That's it. Later. Story of my life. Second my back is turned. She's like, sure, I'll take your peace offering. When the doctor's gone. I looked at dad and said, is he gone yet? <laughs> Can I eat it now? You know, if you move that little side to the side, it wouldn't be caught so much. <laughs> we may have to do some watermelon intervention here. <laughs> <laughs>